Well, it was the sports story in the tweet of the weekend. ASU women's head basketball coach Charlie Turner Thorne's reaction to upsetting second ranked Oregon on a Friday night. Quote, professional blow dry designer suit getting drenched by her team in Sun Devil Nation bringing the heat. So the Sun Devils pulling off a historic upset on Friday, taking down number two Oregon. The celebration was epic. How would they follow it up on Sunday with third ranked Oregon State? Charlie Turner Thorne, well, she was all dried off at her club looking to complete one of the best weekends in program history. I assume Berlito, the Pass to Jatavia Tapley. Sun Devils up seven, but back come the Beavers. Destiny Slocum to beat the shot clock, and we are tied at 45. Under three minutes left. You knew it wanted to be easy. The bank was rocking. Paging Robbie Ryan, the senior playmaker from Wyoming, throwing it in from behind her head. Are you kidding me? Sun Devils take the lead, but Ryan would foul out. Jatavia Tapley, though, steps up and decides she ain't losing. The Sun Devils take the lead and never look back and pull off upsets of number two on Friday and number three on Sunday. ASU wasn't even ranked for more. We head to Tempe and check in with Nick King on the scene with a very happy and still drenched head coach. All right, Charlie Turner Thorne, uh, second time in 48 hours that you get your hair a little bit yes, wet. I've, got, I've taken a shower uh, with my clothes on, so apologies for how I look right now. Uh, yeah, players dumping, uh, dumping the water on her head. Listen, how do you explain how improbable this is to have two wins against top three teams in three days? I can do that. It's never been done before. Uh, we just made history today. Um, that never, um, at least ESPN, everybody's been researching since you know, the game's been going on. Like, has anybody ever, an un unranked team, so you know, maybe there'll be a number by our name now, but um, an unranked team beat the number two and number three team in the country. So um, um, they made our team, our little team made history today, you know, and I'm so proud of them. I mean, it's, we've, had injuries, we've been really young, and we've just, you know, we've just stuck with things. You know, we just keep working, we keep getting better, keep growing our toughness muscle, and, um, you know, it's paying off. You know, this was, I don't know, this has got my 30 years of coaching, this is up there this weekend. This was really fun. And are you able to treasure that kind of a finish even more? when Oregon State comes back to tie it and you have the resilience to finish after that? You know, that. as a coach, I love the close games. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take the 20-point blowouts. But, but I mean, that just, talk about growing your toughness muscle. Talk about getting better. I mean, to be, you know, one of the top teams in the country and to be in the Pac-12. I mean, we're about to go on the road. I mean, you just have to be really good at one-possession games. You see it across the country, men's basketball, women's basketball. You know, great teams know how to take games. You know, and we know how to take games. These seniors know how to take games.